Hi guys and welcome back to another Premium Press video tutorial. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure your new comparison theme website. So as you can see in front of me I have a sample product, this is a TV and as you can see on the left hand side we have the actual product itself, some of the information about the product and on the right hand side we have the price comparison um, affiliate links etc. So I'm going to show you how to create um, this product, I'm going to show you how to configure the default kind of view here, the, the default affiliate link and also how to set up price comparisons manually and how to do it automatically using a data feeder plugin. So let's get started. So firstly from the admin area of your premium press website all of the affiliate products can be found and created on the left hand side under products. So as you can see here with the default install theme we have some sample products just to kind of get you started. Um, and obviously all of these products can be configured and managed here. Now if we click on any of the products we have the basic configuration options such as the product price, um, the old price which will just display um, a comparison from the current price to the old price, the buy link which is obviously the affiliate link you're going to be using so when a user um, clicks on the view button here to view more information about the products um, this is the affiliate link here and we have some um, additional options um, for you to set up um, UPC numbers, EAN numbers, ISBN numbers for books, etc. So some of the basic, obviously, product description options are here on the right. We have a title option, um, setting up the description where you can add, obviously, your own videos and content, etc. And we have the option underneath to add and configure um, um, price comparisons manually. Now, obviously, you can do that manually. So I could go ahead and add some content manually. Um, and then when I view the products, it will display all of the manually added um, items I have. So as you can see here, I've added a camera. It's got $100. And when I click the view button, it's going to take me to the affiliate link here or the buy link as it were here. And I could do that manually for each one, setting up my own affiliate link, etc. Now, what you might want to do is make it more automated. And to make it automated, we need to connect to a product feed or an affiliate feed that allows us to automatically check against um, the title of our product, some information about our product, the UPC numbers, etc., and display um, an accurate price comparison for that product. So to do that, we're going to be using the Data Feeder API. Okay, so to use a Data Feeder product feed, uh, we need to go ahead and create an account with Data Feeder. Now, Data Feeder, um, to access and use the API, it's actually a paid service, it's not a free service. Um, so you be aware that there may be additional pricing uh, involved. At the current time of doing the video, uh, we have starter packages, basic plans, professional plans, and most of our users will be very happy with the starter plan. To be fair, that gives more than enough to get started with your new comparison website, and we've never seen anybody um, have issues with that. Obviously, when you have a bigger website with more clients, you, you're selling more products, then obviously look to upgrade. But for the, for the starter package, for the users just getting started with their product API and your, your new comparison theme, uh, the starter package by DataFeeder is more than adequate. So once you've created an account, you've signed up, we can then go ahead and go back to our premium press website and start configuring the WordPress plugin. To find the necessary plugins, we've added them in the admin area under Premium Press, Plugins, and then we're going to use a subsection, Popular, and as you can see here, we've got the two plugins that we've integrated with our Premium Press theme. So we will go ahead, click Install Plugin, and activate those plugins. Now, once you've activated the Data Feeder API in the Comparison Sets plugin, on the left-hand side, you'll now see a new option called Data Feeder API, and this is where we can start configuring our Data Feeder um, API. So to configure and start using the data feeder API, we need to enter our access ID and our secret key. And those details are provided um, on the datafeeder.com website once you've created an account. So we simply enter those details here, go down, we click on save changes. Now, once you've saved the changes and you've entered your details, you will notice under the data feeder API, two new sections. We have networks and we have merchants. And this is where we start refining the products and networks that we are affiliated with so that we get commission for any sales that we make. Now, by default, if I do not select any networks and merchants, when I go to my website, you'll see that the system will automatically try and create price comparisons 
four products um, in the entire network of data feeder so you're going to have random networks random um, websites that you're not even affiliated with displayed on the on your um, website obviously this is no good because you're not going to gain a commission and it's almost like you're advertising completely free um, those websites so the, the concept of networks and merchants is that we can now refine which products um, and which networks and which merchants we are connected with and we are going to be displaying on our website. So if you're unsure how affiliate um, networking works, I would recommend spending a little bit of time on YouTube and some other um, resources to help you learn a little bit more about what um, is involved, how they work, how you get commission, etc. But the basic concept is that you join a network and within those networks, there are lots of merchants that advertise products. So you join the network and the network will give you an affiliate ID and then you advertise merchant um, details on your website so you, you can um, recommend that they buy a product from this website and that website and that website etc and any sales that are made using your affiliate ID from the network then the network will provide you with commission so we will only really want to add products to our website that we are going to get a commission from because obviously this is how we generate profit and this is how we generate money so we first find uh, networks that we want to be affiliated with and this works differently for everybody simply because some networks will only offer products uh, of a certain type and we need to define what sort of products we are going to be um, displaying on our website. If you are going to be setting up a complete um, generic website with lots and lots of different products then maybe it's not going to be such a big problem. So I would recommend you join a network that offers um, a vast variety of products and then you can go ahead and stick with one network. So let me give you an example. If I'm going to be using Commission Junction and I want to start using um, cameras, I'm going to set up a niche market comparison website for cameras. Then I'm going to join um, um, Commission Junction first. So I'll go to Commission Junction or CJ.com or whatever their current website name is. We set up an account with Commission Junction. They then provide me with an affiliate ID. So I enter my affiliate ID here. I would then scroll down, click on Save Changes. Okay, now I can then set up the merchants, which means all of the merchants that I've joined through um, Commission Junction. So in this case, since we're going to be using cameras, so let's just click on cameras. So I want to create um, affiliates with these websites. So I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, I've added them here, um, camera and digital rev cameras. And basically all of the products that are just um, found for cameras um, through these merchants only will be displayed on my price comparison options. And that way I'm going to gain a commission for any um, sale that is made from users that have clicked the links on my website and then purchased through this affiliate website. So make sure that obviously when you're creating your comparison website that you only display merchants uh, and networks and join networks that are um, relevant to the niche market you're advertising. Um, otherwise you're just not going to get any commission so you'll be paying $29 a month for your data feeder API and generating no commission at all. So one thing to do obviously is go ahead and do some research on which networks are suitable for your product niche and then go ahead and join merchants that are um, appropriate for the website you're setting up.